Okay, friends, a very good evening to all of you. So today I will be solving one very interesting query of one of the participant. So the participant is in HR and he says, Ramzan, when I download a data from my CRM, I get this column. And what is my need is he has a column in which employee code, nationality, user ID comes together. Uh, he don't want to separate that. He don't want to separate that. He want wherever it is written M-O-R here, then it should come Morocco. Wherever it should, it is there E-G-Y, it should come Egypt. And he wants to get the count of it. There are how many people from each nationality. Now, the challenge is, how do you solve this problem? So, you have different ways of uh, solving it. And uh, people will try different ways. So, the first way which people will try is a pivot table. But let's see if we can solve this with pivot table or no. Now, uh, actually, we can't solve this with pivot table because here you have 101 MOR810. And then again, you have another MOR, but it is 104. So if you want MOR Morocco, EGY Egypt, different, you want to count this, how you will count it? So if you go to the insert and if you say pivot table and if you say OK, which we have already learned. OK, so let me change the column heading over here quickly. So I will just say nationality. And now I'm just inserting a pivot over here. See what will happen. Insert pivot table on nationality. What it says? Organize the data. Look, let me copy this and let me paste it over here in a new space. Okay. And over here, let me try to create a pivot for you. Okay. So if I go to the insert and if I say pivot table and if I say okay over here, you get the nationality, but when I drag this nationality over here and this nationality over here, I will get only one count because here all the numbers are different. So he is not considering that is as unique. So what needs to be done is in this data, our main aim is to extract first MOR, EGY, SYR in a new column and on that you will be doing the count. Now, the good part is, he says, Ramzan, my manager has given me another sheet. So, this is the another sheet in which there is a code and there is a nationality. So, he says, Ramzan, here my manager tells me that I need a count. So, when you actually work in corporate, you might get this type of query, which you might think how to do, what to do now. And then we search on YouTube, you search on Google. So I will be sharing how do you solve all these things. Let's think. Let's understand. So over here, I want how many people are from Morocco. So here MOR is there. And when I go to this sheet here, MOR is this. So what actually is the need is when you say filter, control shift L is a shortcut for filter. And when I come here and if I say text filter contains, contains MOR. So you got all the nationality where MOR is there, right? And if I select this all, you see in the bottom, it shows me how many? It shows me 28. Means there are 28 people from MOR. But how do I count that? How do I count that? If I use a count if formula, see pivot table is not working on that, right? So now we will see how do you use count if. And let's see if that works. Otherwise, what is the solution? So I say over here equal and I will say over here count if. If you have if you have joined my session in past, you might be knowing now count if. Otherwise, it will get revised for you. When you say equal count if, it asks you two things. A range and a criteria. A range means a column in which you want to search. So I want to search in HR data one. So you will go to HR data one. And you will say search in a column. So you search a column. Then over here you will put comma. And now he's asking criteria that in this column what you want to search. 
So after putting a comma, I go to the code and I say, this is my criteria, search MOR. So in AA column of HR data sheet, it will search MOR and I press enter. You will get zero. Why you are getting zero? So this was the actual question. He says, Ramzan, I do count if, but I'm getting zero. Why answer is not coming? Because you are searching MOR in this column. MOR is in between. He will not search in between and will give it to you. If it is over here only MOR, MOR and MOR, you see here I will get three. You got three. So he found perfect understanding. But if your data is like this, then how do you search this between part? This is something, a very, very interesting thing, which you all will learn today. So how do you solve this problem? Uh, to solve this problem, there are many ways, friends. Either you uh, separate these three things. You separate 101 MOR and 810 in three different columns. And then you do the count. If you don't want to separate and still you want to use a county formula, how do you use that? Some very, very new thing you are going to learn and uh, the concept of wildcard. And now you observe how you will do. Now I'm giving you the solution. So instead of this, we will use a count if formula only, but in a different way. So I will say equal count if range where you want to search i will go to the hr data and i will say search in a column it will search in a column comma after comma normally what we do what we do we go to the code sheet and i say search morocco it will not find after doing this you just add one more thing now you tell excel that you search this mor but before MOR can be anything, after MOR can be anything. And anything in Excel is denotes with a wildcard that is known as star. This is known as asterisk. You will learn something very new in Excel today, friends. So star denotes anything in Excel. Remember, means anything. So there are two things. One is a star and another is a question mark. Question mark denotes one character. We will see this afterwards. But let's learn today something new. So here, when you are saying search this A2 MOR, instead of that, over here, you will put the cursor. And over here, you will first put in double quotes star like this. So you will say Excel that before this A2, there can be anything. And so you are saying anything and MOR. And in the end, also, you will say and. And again, you will put the star. So this concept you have to understand. Those who are seeing first time, they will say what's happening. But here what you are doing, this code, now, this what you have written, this means you are telling Excel that this search MOR, but before MOR, it can be anything. After MOR, it can be anything. So what he will do, he will just search a MOR word in the previous sheet. Before MOR, it can be anything. After MOR, it can be anything. And you press enter and you get 28. Wow. Let's cross check after dragging. So I just double click on it and I get Egyptian 85. UAE 7. Let's see the small number so we understand. So I go over here and I filter on nationality. And in nationality, I will come and I will say, I think over here only I will search UAE and I say enter. So I got seven records. These are seven records of UAE. Here also I'm getting perfect seven records of UAE. If you want to another way cross check, what is the another way of cross checking? You will come in the end and you will say count. There are how many records? So I will say just over here count A and you will select all these records. So you have total 1000 records in a database. You use a count A formula. Why I didn't use count? Because count formula counts only the numbers. If I use count over here, it will not work. If I say count this range and I press enter, you will get zero. Because it's not a number. It's a text. It's an alphanumeric. So remember, if it is alphanumeric, you will always use count A. So total 1000 records are there. 
And when I go over here and when I count all this, let me put over here the sum, equal sum. And when I select this all, I get 1000. It means my data is matching. There also 1000, here also 1000. I will repeat it once again for you friends, how I have written. Let's understand. What was our query? Our query was, I want to search this MOR word in this database, in this first column. But when I do normal count, if it does not search because MOR is in between, it does not see the exact match. So here we solve this problem by saying equal count if those who have not understood first time can see now the second time. So equal count if open a bracket range. Think now what you should select in range. Yes, you will select the main column in which you want to search. So you will go to the HR data and you will say Excel search in this A column. Then you will put comma and then what you want to search? You want to search MOR, but that MOR is in which sheet? So I go to the code sheet and I say search this MOR and I press enter. So you will get zero because he is not able to find MOR in that because in my master sheet, before MOR there are character, after MOR there are character. The solution is what? Before this code here, you will put in two double quotes, star, a strict. A strict means anything, means before MOR, it can be anything and A2. Again over here, you will say in the end also, here in the end, and again in double quotes, you will say start. So you are trying to say Excel, before this MOR, it can be anything. After the MOR, it can be anything. So this is little bit of advanced level, but I hope you all are understanding. These are something new, which you should learn when you go at an MIS level, when you want to become data analyst. These are the things, simple count if, simple sum if, everybody knows. These are something advanced, which you should understand the concepts. And I press enter, done. Come on the corner and you double click and your work is done. Got it, everybody? So this is the solution, which is for that participant who has asked me the query and he is there in our now live session. So now friends, how you will practice? Don't worry. I'm going to put this uh, practice file in the link of a description in the YouTube video. So I will upload this file on the YouTube and on that I will put in a description the link of this file from where you can download the file and you can practice it. Hopefully by tomorrow I should be able to upload. Okay. Thank you so much everybody. So this was just a very quick 12-15 minute session and this was the thing, this was the query which uh, I was supposed to solve and I hope the participant have understood and see you sometime in the next session and I hope you all are joining the tomorrow's Power BI webinar, which is for around one hour. Thank you so much, everybody, and see you tomorrow.